Hello everybody and welcome back to Who Are You Again? In the last episode we made our way through the desert and now we're here at this place. The Arbiter's Grounds. Hi there. Fuck off. You're an asshole. Anyways, let's get out our claw shot. Because we gotta make our way across this treacherous sand. Fall into that pit down there, it's pretty much an instant health loss. Not an instant game over, thankfully, but still, you don't want to fall in. Alright, be quick. That ledge there won't stay gone for- won't stay, uh, there forever. Alright, unlike Ocarina of Time, we don't have any hover boots to circumvent this shit, so you gotta move quickly. Doing a roll onto the sand will help a lot. Oh, hi there. Yeah, careful. Those little undead dudes that want to stab your tits in. I don't want my tits stabbed, you fuck. There we go. I meant to use the bow. It would have been much funnier. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Yeah, we need to pull that thing, but I didn't realize two dudes would come popping out. You little butts. Alright, what you want to do is pull this out and wham! That'll get it close to us. So you don't have to... Shit. You don't have... I forgot to hold R. Just pull it, and there you go, the door's open. Yeah. With the claw shot, you can get it next to you without having to go in the sand and die. Well, not die, but you get the point. Alrighty, let's get back out our... This, we have a refill here if you need to ever use it. Which is nice. We also have a small key over here, if I'm correct. So let's go get that. Yeah, what the hell? I just kind of unceremoniously dropped off the fucking platform. There we go. Now we can move forward. So we gotta go get to that mirror of twilight. Careful, those bugs there will slow you down if they all latch on to you. They won't hurt you. They'll just slow you down significantly. Or whatever. We'll meet more bugs like that later. We need to get your lantern out to see. We gotta light two torches in this room. We also have a bunch of dickheads. I'm pretty sure it's possible to get the... No, it's not possible to get that ability yet. It'd be nice if we had that ability. But no, we're not cool enough yet. There we go, that takes care of those fudge tunnels. And that's that. We didn't have to kill them, but they would have gotten our way otherwise. Alrighty. You guys remember the forest temple, right? If not, well, the gimmick is the same as the forest temple. Because there's where the main boss is, but look at that. We got four Poes, four Flames, and they say, fuck you, Steel, we're gonna take that away from you. Fire's dangerous, don't you know? So away it goes. They also perform the, do perform the door closing ritual by moving in circles. Thankfully, they're not here to attack us, except this one. This one's feeling bold. So, what we gotta do is transform into a wolf and go kick its ass. He looks very pretty. You cannot attack him unless he's purple, by the way. Well, he's pretty much just like any other Poe. Except he takes two hits, oh my god. Anyways, once he's dead, we rip out his soul, but... Unlike the other Poe's... This one leaves something special for us. Well, besides the fire going back. But of the four posts that took the fire, there's something special about this one. And what's that? Well, we can sniff it. Yep, I want to forget her stupid scent. And learn the Poe scent. Because with that, now we can go find the other four. Now you can pretty much get these guys, oh, well, you can't really get them in whatever order you want. I'm not sure, though. Feel free to quote me if I'm wrong. 
This is the closest to a wolf dungeon we'll get. Where you have to use your wolfy powers to sense out the bastards. Alrighty, let's head... Let's head down the stairs, Jesus Christ. Because we're going down here just for a small key, essentially. I think. It's been a while. Fuck off. Now let me look up. So yeah, there's a spot in the ceiling that we want to get into a certain place. Alright, we're a strong wolf. Let's push it and not snap our neck from the force. Aw, oh, shit. See that thing? It's like a Gibdo. Except it has a fucking sword. And yeah, it doesn't matter if we're an adult or a kid. It's gonna fucking stun you. Now, I think waggling your thumbstick gets you out quicker. Not sure on that. But I think it does. I could be wrong, though. Alrighty, with that ceiling spot opened up. I thought there was supposed to be like a claw shot point. Am I on drugs? No, I'm not on drugs. Steel knows what he's talking about. He's done this game before. Those guys have not played this game before. That's why they're dead. Why are you guys munching on bones? Looks like that one was humping it. That's sexual. And arousing. Alrighty, with our small key, we can move forward. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. Now the next Poe is in this room. Let's get out our Wolfie and sense it out. Where are you? Oh, hello there. What's your name? Ah! There's skulls. Alright, wait till he turns purple or pink, whatever color you see. I know, different monitors, different colors. I don't know. Regardless, two attacks later, and boom. There's our soul. And thankfully, us getting hit didn't break us out of that. Alrighty, that's two flames out of four. Nice, nice. Yeah, getting through them a lot quicker than we did in Ocarina of Time. But the end game isn't as short as Ocarina of Time. Yeah, it's all we came this way for. So, let's go back to being a human. I'm sorry, Minna. I hate to do that, because she looks so happy and excited for adventure. It's like, yeah, let's go. Alrighty, now to simply fix this room. We, we're going to go back up this way, but from a different door. Just push this. Because it only goes two ways, forwards and backwards. And that's that. So now we're going to enter it from the top. Let's go. Oh yeah, wait, cutscene. Of the fire returning. Only two to go. Oh wait, there's something in this room I want to get. I can see it there in the ma I can see it there in the cutscene. Completely forgot about that shit. Let's head over this way because first we gotta get rid of these jerks. Die, damn you! It's like, come on, he landed in the sand. What am I supposed to do about that? We have two things actually. The first being a map. The first half of our advanced GPS system of Hyrule. More advanced than the one in Ocarina of Time, don't you know? That one just showed you your map and location and chests. This one will do the same exact thing, actually. And here we have, should have a heart piece. Yes. Three more to go. Nice, nice. Our footholds are gone. We're probably going to sink and take half a heart of, a heart of damage. Yeah, we're not making it across, I don't think. Can we? Oh, we did. Alrighty, nice. Let's go to the top part of this room again, but this time the room, room's orientation is different. 
Because now we can go straight ahead. Ooh, yeah, that's what we needed the key for. No key, no dice. Alright, let's see. There should be an entrance point somewhere around here. Oh yeah, right there, I think. Got dudes in the sand, that's no good. I'm trying to get my damn bearings here, because... Steel d didn't wake up too long ago. Hello, Spikes. Yeah, they're the... You're not allowed to cheese it, Spikes. They're there to make sure that... They're there to remind you that you have to play the game the way that was intended. Or you're an asshole. Alright, we want to pull this because we need to get it into a specific spot. I'm trying to remember what... Really? I'm trying to figure things out. What a rude bastard. Alright, let's see. Okay, I see what we gotta do. I'm gonna push it right... I said... We want to push it right over here. Fucking moved it an inch too far. There we go. Because we gotta go pull a chain, which is over here. And it'll lift that, uh, chandelier. Well, the chandelier, chandelier looking thing. If you don't have this block, well, as you can see, it wouldn't work. You'd only get so far and then we're fucked. Alright, be quick. We can sit in the center of this, by the way. If you want. I don't know why you'd want to. Some of these do have stuff, but whatever. I shouldn't have done that. Let's see if we can just jump back over here. Good. I think one of those has a heart piece. I'm not sure. It's been a long fucking time. Oh shit, it's a skull on fucking fire. That's dangerous, buddy. Don't worry, we fixed him, guys. He's good now. Go away. I want the fucking compass. And with that, we've completed our Hyrulean GPS system. The most advanced system in Hyrule. Probably more advanced than ours, which is a little sad. Does this say something? No, we just gotta push it, though. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's push it towards the chest. That looks useful. Da -da 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 -da. It's not working. Let's try pulling it instead. Okay, I thought we just had to point the statue in its direction. No. We just fucking move it once. Oh, shit. All right, he won't scream at us. We sh okay, he screamed at us. Stop it! He's, he's an angry little man, isn't he? He hasn't had his fucking coffee. But don't worry, he doesn't need his coffee now because he's dead. We've brought him back to where he belongs, and that's hell. Alrighty, let's get the... Well, we got our small key. That jerk was guarding it. They're not so bad, but I think there's a room where there's like two of them at once, and then that sucks. Now, I really should be in wolf form, you know? Make sure I haven't missed anything. Let me make sure. Let me check here. So there's no, there's nothing we missed. We shouldn't be. I hope not. Alright, the next one should be in this room, if I'm correct. Yeah, I heard the little thing jingle. Let's get rid of these little skelly dudes. You know, it'd be nice if your wolf wasn't really affected by the sand as much as the human form. I know, your wolf form looks a lot lighter than the human form. Yeah, there's ass loads of these dudes. Just keep jump attacking him, I guess. We could do this. That works, I suppose. Oh, shit. Aw, oh, damn it. Poke me, please. Ow. You fuck. Oh, we're going down. Yeah, I hate those guys. You asshole. Oh, the little skelly dudes aren't helping us. How lovely. Those guys are taking a lot of health, by the way. Now 
They are taking the ass if you want sex so badly. That's what it looked like I was doing. Yeah, that was rather poor of me. Jesus Christ. Should've just killed those skelly dudes and then went this way, but I didn't see them. Whatever, we survived, so I guess that's what matters most. Let's just pull it and, oh no. Why do I get the feeling there's another one of these guys this way? Okay, good, there isn't. I didn't realize they did so much damage, to be honest. Well, now you know. So let's just fucking bite his throat out, his ethereal throat. Yay, we got another postal. That's three of them. At the cost of most of our fucking health. That was all entirely my fault. I could have did that much better. Whatever, we all make mistakes, I suppose. Let's just move forward. Now this room is special. So when we come in here, the lights are gonna go out. For some reason. First, let's get this chest. Because we need the small key inside. Yeah, the lights go out, and then a whole bunch of mice appear. They'll just slow you down. Just do a spin attack to get them off you if they get on. Minna don't like it, though. Ah, damn it. Yeah, all it takes is one to slow you down, and that literally gets out our jump. Oh, this time it took more than one. What the hell? Whatever, let's just go now that they're dead. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to light the torches, you just need to go. I like how Minda opens the door with literally zero fucking effort. It's like, I got this, babe. Alrighty, one more to go, boys. Don't fall, please. We are doing this all again. And I'll have to cut, and I don't want to cut. Not yet, at least. Alrighty, let's continue onwards. How far can we take the wolf? No further, I suppose. Sorry, Minna. Wolf time is over. It's human time, sadly. I know, I know, I don't like it either, but we'll get through this together. She'll just have to trust me. Let's get this chest. Maybe there's something good inside. It's a red rupee. I get a hundred dollars. Actually, it's only worth 20 shit. Everyone got a pay raise at work apparently yesterday. Dude, everyone doing a great job. They decided to raise everybody's pay. Even the ones that are making less than $10 an hour. So woohoo, I'm getting more money at work again. Alrighty, this one we do want to get on the center of. We want to get to the center of its Tootsie Pop because we want to be able to go over there. I think so. Ow, you fuckhead. Jeez. Oh, never mind. Actually, there's a chest there. That might have been something good. Fuck. Yeah, I don't think we're cheesing it back over. Unless. Let's give it a try. Yeah! Nothing like avoiding quote unquote fall damage. Oh, steel, what was that? There we go. Let myself get my bearings first. Oh, lovely. Please don't hit me. Thank you. Like I'm trying to pull something here, damn it. Heavy lifting coming through. Yeah, I didn't realize there was a chest over here. Probably a small key. Nope. It was a waste of fucking time. That's what it was. Yeah, we aren't cheesing it this time, kids. So, back across we go. Thankfully, it's not a long journey. We just gotta take this delicious little shortcut. 
This guy's having a fucking seizure. Let's put him out of his misery. There you go. Bastard. Alright, one last time, kids. It only should have been two, but... Your uncle saw... It. You're an asshole. Alrighty, take three. Take four, I should say. Jeez. At least it makes for good comedy, I hope. And whether it be intentional or not, I hope you guys laugh at it. It's the point. These are supposed to be entertaining and funny. Mostly funny. Though the funny isn't as prominent as it used to be. So, what awaits us in the rest of this dungeon? Find out next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess.